But I wanted to give you a little bit of a background of where this came from so that you'll understand where I think it can go and also so that you understand why it's so different um, from other wind systems out there. So just to stop any, um, <laughs> the, the comments I get most from engineers is, oh, that's great, you can charge a cell phone or you can power a couple LEDs, but you're pulling in 70 watts into your fan and you're getting out a fraction of a watt. That is true, but it is not my fault that the fan is inefficient. Uh, <laughs> there, there's about three to five watts of power coming out in this large cross section at about 10 or 11 miles per hour, which is um, what the demo is I'm going to show you right now. Um, and we're cutting a sliver of that. So efficiency all in ends up being around 10% you know, when you take into account the losses through the power conditioning unit into a match load. Um, so it, just to uh, stop that question in its tracks, but feel free to ask me if that didn't convince you. Um, <laughs> so, so this is just the first demo of a couple. So this is to show that this system, which again is just a demo system, but that this system hit those constraints. Um, a couple white LEDs, you know, just to show you there's no magic going on here. Um, show you that it works at a few different speeds. This is around 11 miles per hour. Um, this is around 8 miles per hour. Um, I'm showing you the different speeds because uh, a comment that I get often is, oh, well, th that's a great, you know, great idea, fine, but you have to hit 11.2 miles per hour to get the resonant effect. But this isn't, you know, there's resonance involved, but the Tacoma Narrows Bridge was not ripped apart by the same forces that let the opera singer blow apart, you know, um, the wine glass. So it, it's not that you're having to hit a specific frequency, it's more of a, Resonance is a kind of positive feedback loop too, but this is more of a positive feedback loop um, of competing forces. Um, so that is to say you can tap a wide range of wind speeds um, without having to have a dynamic tensioning system, although that would be nice. So let me show you another demo just to show you that it can do everything I said it could do. Um, So if there's any questions while I'm doing this, feel free to shoot. So what's your power conditioning doing right now? Um, so that's the only thing I can't talk too much about because the patents still haven't been fully filed. But the power conditioning unit, um, you know, you're getting in a very clean AC input and you need to do a few things. You need to rectify and you need to boost. Um, typically you would do that with something, you know, like a uh, um, you know, boost converter, um, you know, in combination with, you know, a typical bridge rectifier. Um, the cost was too high for those two things combined and the losses were too great. So um, we have, so all I can say, especially since this is on tape, is that there's a few components that you could pull out of, you know, any old radio that are in the power conditioning unit. And quantity cost is probably somewhere around, you know, it, 25 cents or 50 cents, so. They're, they're standard components, no kind of silicon components in there. What wind, what wind range does this unit operate at? Uh, this unit operates at um, between around four miles per hour when it starts to put out power um, to around 14. Um, actually, this one probably to around 12 or 13, but we've had systems that work in that range. After 14, it's not that your system just kind of falls over and dies. It starts to hiccup and go ahead of itself. and um, what we're finding as we, as I look at kind of larger scale systems is that um, that's sort of a function of this particular size. Um, working on systems now where this effect seems to give increasing power levels through a wider range of wind speeds. So as you change, so what uh, in, on the table there is uh, vibrating? Is it that uh, slim bar across the top? It's, no, it's actually just, and you can get a closer look afterwards, but it's just this band here. It's a oh, band of... Um, it's kind of a, it, it's a mylar coated taffeta. It's a very, very, very primitive sort of composite material that is very commodity. You can use it for things like the edging of kites. And as you change the wind speed, uh, does that change the vibration frequency or does it change it does, the amplitude? It does change. Um, mostly the amplitude, but the frequency changes by a few hertz. All right. and it's going at about 100 hertz now, so that's why it's giving some efficient output. Um, this is to show you that it can do the, um, duty cycle of 
charging a lithium ion battery in a phone. It doesn't, it would take a long time for this particular scale to fully charge up the phone. I don't know if you could tell the difference as I was talking over it, but um, the initial startup is very difficult for a system that's as gossamer as this um, to do. So it took a while to be able to design a system that could actually get over that initial um, part of the charge cycle. Um, and then one more, and keep shooting out questions as I, as I do this. How long would it take to charge a typical cell phone? Off of this system right here? Um, like, like a week. Um, but we've charged it up, we, you know, we've let it run for um, a few hours and have made, you know, half an hour's worth of calls. So it's more of a demo. What happens if it's rotated a bit? Oh yeah, okay, I can show you that. Um, let me show you that right after this one. But it works, it, it's the same sort of sinusoidal fall off that you would get from any change in cross section um, approximately. So, you know, a wind turbine, you get that kind of fall off as your cross section changes um, similarly with this system. Um, but I'll show you to convince you. this. So this is a crank radio only because crank radios require very little power. This may or may not work. I haven't tested it. Uh, this is at the very edge, powering a speaker that people can hear. It's at the very edge of what this, this system can do, but um, I figure what the heck. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 